Hello, I'm Dr. Sanjay Panika. I'm the founder of Amrita Homeopathy. We have two clinics. One is in Korumangla and the other one is at Marathali in Bangalore. We specialize in hair and skin problems, respiratory problems, allergies, pediatrics and infertility. I have also authored a book on pediatrics. Yesterday was the book release. This is on pediatrics drug pictures. That is, it gives an idea about how to prescribe for children. And it is an illustrated book with a lot of pictures in it so that it's easy for doctors and for others also to understand how to prescribe in pediatrics. In cancer, basically, the cells are in great disharmony. They are a disintegrated group of cells which is not able to connect to each other and they are not able to collectively function as an organ and they are multiplying excessively beyond what is the normal way in which it should multiply. So here the cells are totally malfunctioning and it, the cells should be intelligently able to communicate with each other and collectively function as an organ. This capacity is being lost in cancer and the cells disintegrate and they are functioning in the process of multiplication, increasing in its size and growing very rapidly. So now in such a patient, how homeopathy works? This is scientifically yet to be established, though we prescribe based on symptoms. There has been a lot of studies and one study which has struck me a lot is that where they have studied about water molecules. Now in between these cells also, there are water molecules. If you see that in children who are newborn, 95% of the body is composed of water. And if you see in, I mean, there is 95% water content in the body of an infant. Now, as the child grows, 92% is water. And in a person who is between 20 to 30 years of age, maybe 20 to 40 years of age, his water content would go down to about 70%. And 40 to uh, maybe 60 years, his water content in the body would go down to even lesser, maybe 50% would be the water content. And as the age increases, it goes down even up to 30%. In the sense, as the age is increasing, we are noticing that the water content in the body is going on reducing. Now, water is something which is not just H2O, simple molecule. No, it's a very complex structure. The scientists who have studied that, the crystals in the water is so complex that it has the capacity to store memory. So any medicine which is being prepared homeopathically, when it is put in water, the water has the capacity to absorb and store the memory of that medicinal property in the water molecules. So when homeopathic medicine is being diluted beyond what Avogadro number where you cannot identify in the microscope, the molecules of water, the crystals in water have the capacity to store that medicinal memory in it, in the water itself. And when it is consumed by a person, it has a similar, the person's water molecules in between the cells is totally in a disarray because of the cancer which is affected. And when this water molecule which is medicated enters into his system, it mirrors with this um, deceased water structure and brings about a change miraculously and slowly we find that this structure also starts mirroring the effect of the medicinal structure in the sense what water molecules have grasped in terms of the medicinal memory is transmitted to the cells which has undergone a change in their basic structure and then it corrects that change in the crystals in the water molecules between the cells thus correcting the functions of these cells there is a particular saturation point after which this change happens so this doctor i don't recollect his name actually right now but he has done this study where he has seen how these water molecules are able to bring about a change in a person affected with cancer and how the structure of the cells changes after the homeopathic medicine. So this is a science which needs more research 
to understand how homeopathy is bringing about this change in cancer patients but we do have cancer patients who are getting cured of cancer like for example i had a prostate cancer patient who got cured of his prostate cancer with homeopathic medicines so there are cases like that how it works scientifically is yet to be understood in detail though this is one theory which has um, given some logic and some understanding to me and i have tried to convey that to you hope you would have understood some thing about it